Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, everywhere you are. Listening this morning, you're listening to Choice Gospel Network, and this program is Lifeline Power Hour, coming to you live and direct. Glory to God, Pastor Morgan, your host this morning for the next hour. Listen up, friend. Glory to God. This is good stuff coming to you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God is and he's a reward to them that diligently seek him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless God. Wherever you are listening this morning, you are tuning into the right station. Lifeline Gospel Hour. Amen. On Choice Gospel Network. Glory to God. Bless your name. So wherever you're listening this morning, stand by for a miracle this morning. Stand by for God to deliver and uh, bless your soul this morning. Whatever ye, you, whatever the problem may be, God is a problem solver. Whatever the need may be, God can able to meet your need. So this morning, this morning is your morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This morning is your morning. Amen. Glory to God. I will be hoping the prayer line later on. Just don't call right now. Amen. You call later on. Amen. I'm going to open up the prayer line. Bless God, oh my soul. Just keep listening, and I'm going to share a word with you, and uh, and then I'm going to pray for those that would accept the Lord Jesus Christ over the over the air this morning. Amen. It's a great time for you to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, make it today. Because he said today is the day of salvation. Amen. If you hear the word of God, harden not your heart. Glory to God. So good morning to you wherever you may be. Across Brooklyn, across New York, across the United States of America, West Indies. Wherever you may, Europe, England, Canada, wherever you may be this morning, God bless you. And God love you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. 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 What a mighty God we serve. Yeah. 
Amen. Who don't want a revival in their soul? It's good. It's it's a great blessing to have a revival. It's spiritually, physically, and every way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. But you must be in touch with Jesus. Let us pray. Amen. Father God, this morning I thank you for your love, your mercy, your goodness, and for all that you have been doing for us. Thank you, oh God, for this great radio station, Choice Gospel Network Radio, of uh, bringing the gospel oh, to each and every one that listened this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I pray your blessing upon this program. I pray your blessing upon the listeners, wherever they may be. Let everyone this morning, dear Father God, who listen this morning, receive a blessing. Glory to God. And when we, when I pray for them, for whatever their need may be, God, you will hear and answer prayer this morning. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God love you. Keep listening. Amen. Keep tuning in. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. With your hands and feet and give God praise. It's all right. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. He's all right. All right. All right. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. Amen. I said glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. What you think about Jesus? He's all right. Yes. I'm glad for those of you who know that he is all right. Bless God, oh my soul. I'm going to share with you a little scripture this morning. The word, the word of God is quick, it's powerful, and it's sharp. Hallelujah, that any two it is to it. Turn your bow with me if you if you can. Oh, glory to God. Amen to Galatians chapter six. And I'm gonna read from verse uh, verse seven verse seven and eight. Galatians chapter six, seven and eight. Be not deceived, God is not mock, for whatsoever a man sow it, that shall he also reap. For he that sow it to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption, but he that sow it to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Amen. And the word of God is already blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Word of God said. God is not mocked. Amen. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Amen. And my topic to you this morning is God is not mocked. Amen. The word mocked means not to be not to be taken serious. Someone, something fake to make fun of. If someone mocks you, they show or 
treat you like you are foolish or inferior. So, when the word of God says God is not mad, God is to be taken serious. Amen. God is and is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. But anything otherwise, amen, you are going against the creator, the ruler of this universe. Word of God says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. But men and women of the day, of the day, yes, keep on ignoring God. So many people keep on ignoring the, the gospel. When Jesus said that you should repent, he's serious. He's not to be ignored. Because if you don't repent of your sin, we all were born in sin, my friend, and shaping iniquity, and in sin we the world or conceive. Amen. So therefore, every one of us, every human being that come on the face of this earth, glory to God. Amen. We're born in sin. And sin is the thing that separates you from God. So God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to take away the sin. Amen. The sin of the world glory to God so you can you and I can have life and have it more abundantly but men and women keep on ignoring God and to ignore God to ignore the not to take the gospel serious amen if you hear it on the radio like you're hearing it now or if you 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 read in your the word of god amen glory to god amen or if you go to a church amen or if you read, read a track amen or if you watch the television amen or the internet or even a track that somebody give you whatever it may be it must be taken serious it must not be taken lightly amen for what it profit a man if he gain this whole world and lose his own soul but i'm telling you something people don't a lot of people do not take god serious and that is mocking god but i'm saying to you today amen god is to be take serious god is not to take the lightly. God is and he's a rewarder, word of God say, to them that diligently seek him. So this morning to you, the word of God is coming to you. Amen. And it's not to be taken lightly because if you take the word of God lightly, you're telling God that you are mocking him because he is not serious. Yes, God is a serious God. Amen. Other people take the word, don't take the word of God seriously and they go about doing all the things that they believe that they're doing. They mock God in different ways. But I'm going to let you know that if you mock God, if you don't take the word of God seriously, you're going to have to pay for it. Amen? You're going to have to pay for it. But God loves mankind. And the reason why he don't wipe us out all long time, because 
He is a loving God. And the word of God said, God winked of our foolishness and command that every man everywhere should repent and turn their lives over to Jesus. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Amen. So when you hear the word of God, when you hear the gospel, amen, amen, you must take it seriously. Do not mock God. Amen. Don't believe that what God is saying, amen, to you through his word or through his servant is something to take light or is foolishness. It is not. Amen. And uh, some people go, go even to the extreme to, to mock God. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share uh, some notes that I have on some people, amen, that mock God and see what happened to them. Some people believe God is not judgment. Is, God's judgment is 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 evident it's real it's happening every day amen you and i are blessed when if you wake up this morning glory to god you are blessed to be listening to me this morning listen to this. some years ago this is john lennon the, the, the singer uh, some of most of you may know him some years ago, during his interview with an American magazine, he said, Christianity will end. It will disappear. I do not have to argue about that. I am certain. Jesus was okay, but his subjects were too simple today. We are more famous than him. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Lennon after saying that the Beagles were more famous than Jesus Christ after that he was shot six times not too long after that amen don't play with God don't mock God amen Listen to this one. There's a Brazil president during the presidential campaign. He said, if he got 5,000 votes from his party, not even God would remove him from presidency. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Sure, he got the votes. But he got sick a day before his inauguration as a president, and he died. Don't play with God, man. Don't play with God. Don't mock God. During This is another one. A bisexual Brazilian composer, singer, and poet. During a show in Cassinia, while smoking his cigarette, he puffed out some smoke into the air and said, God, that is for you. He died at the age of 32 from lung cancer in a horrible manner. Don't mock God. Don't mock God. Mm. Listen to this another one. The man who built the Titanic after the construction of the cruise ship Titanic, a reporter asked him how safe the Titanic would be with an ironic, ironic tone. He said, Not even God can sink it. Mm. The result, I think you all know what happened to the Titanic. Don't mock God. Amen. Don't mock God. I'm going to read just one more for you. Amen. Uh, Marlene Monroe. 
actress. She was visited by Billy Graham during a presentation of a show. He said, he said, the Spirit of God had sent him to preach to her after hearing what the preacher had to say. She said, I don't need your Jesus. A week later, she was found dead in her apartment. Do not mock God. And I could go on and on and on. So I'm saying to you, amen. God is, and he's a rewarder. Amen. Whether it's going to be good reward or bad reward, but it's going to reward every man. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So do not mock God. If you hear the word of God, amen, take it serious. Harden not your heart. Amen. Because, amen, you don't, you can't make your one uh, bit of your hair, not even one strand of your hair, you can make it black or white unless you're going to put some kind of dye in it. But amen, glory to God. But I'm saying to you, amen, God is to be taken serious, amen. And if you do not repent, if you do not repent of your sins, amen, you are going to hell. You are going to a Christless eternity. You might not hear this gospel, take the preach about hell so often, amen, but hell is real, amen, glory to God. You do not live in God's world, amen, glory to you. This is God's world. This is not man's world. This is God's world. You don't live in God's world, amen. God blows breath into man and give you life. And if you take it lightly, you're going to pay the penalty. And the penalty could be everlasting punishment in in in, in a crisis eternity, in, in hell, where the Fire never quench. Amen. I'm saying to you, when you hear the word of God, amen, when you hear the gospel preach, amen, you must take it seriously and repent. Turn from your sin, amen, and get God's salvation. Salvation is deliverance, amen, from sin, amen, brought about by, by faith in Jesus Christ. Salvation is by the way of repentance. Amen. The, the act of saving from sin. Amen. God is speaking. God is calling. God is talking to you. God is appealing to you this morning. If you do not accept Jesus Christ as your personal life, if you don't repent of your sin, hell is is where you're heading from and i'm saying it plain and straight this morning glory to god amen but hell didn't made for a human being it made for devil and his angel but man keep on mocking god man, man keep on re refusing to accept the lord jesus christ god man keep on uh, 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 uh ignoring god and keep on ignoring the gospel but i'm saying to you my brother my sister my friend amen if you with the word of god so when you hear the word of god hard not your take the word of god serious amen and avoid the judgment of god upon your life amen glory to god because god is glory to god hallelujah but in the spirit of that god love God love, God love, and that's the reason why He sent His only begotten Son, Amen. That whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life, Amen. Glory to God. I'm talking about everlasting life, great life, good life, Amen. Bless God, O oh my soul. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. Bless, hallelujah, oh glory to God. So I'm asking you this morning, my friend, take 
the gospel serious. Take the gospel message serious. Amen. And repent of your sin if you if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. He said, today is the day of salvation. And if you hear the word of God, harden not your heart. Amen. Glory to God. I'm here to tell you, amen, that there's a way out. Amen. You don't have to follow stupid people and mock God. Amen. You, can, you must decide for yourself. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no man cometh unto the Father but by me. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God is loving, but God also sends judgment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. And the final judgment will be coming. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because when there will no other chance for you to repent. So, so today, the Bible said, today, amen, hallelujah, is a day of salvation. If you hear his word, harden not your heart. Make it right with God now, amen, while you're still on redemption ground, amen, when, when it's still time, when the trumpet of God shall sound, the dead in Christ shall rise, and those that are alive shall be cut up to meet him, it'll be too late that time, or if you die, amen, because there's no repentance in the grave, so if you die without God and Christ today, amen, glory to God, amen, you are going to a Christless eternity, but right now, amen, you can make it right with God, Amen. And secure your, your space. Are you secure your seat in glory? Amen. In God's kingdom. Amen. God bless you this morning. Oh, glory to God. I'm going to pray for you this morning. And if you know you're not saved, if you know you don't surrender your life, you know you don't repent of your sin, you're still living in sin, you're still doing the wrong thing, you're still going the wrong way, you can turn around this morning by repent and ask Jesus Christ into your life. And when he comes into your life, he will change your life around for the better. God never saved nobody. God don't save nobody and it get worse. It always get worse better spiritual yes there's testings and trials amen oh amen glory to god because this life is christian life is not a bed of roses amen there's testing and trials and there's things that are happening but all these things is to make you get nearer to god and draw closer to god and being more in touch with him glory to god god loves you and god cares for you this morning so this morning amen i'm gonna pray right now and i'm gonna ask you my brother my sister don't be in the place of those who and i could the stories that i was telling you uh, there's many 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 more amen glory to god but i'm saying to you this morning don't join those group amen listen and take heed to the word of god amen because hallelujah god loves you and God want to save your soul. That's why he sent his only begotten son to die on that cruel cross. The word of God said that if Romans 10 verse 9 and 10 said that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe believe in thine heart that God has Raise him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So you can speak to God, you can talk to God. Amen. You can ask him for his forgiveness and he loves to forgive people because that is what that's why Jesus Christ come and die so if you this morning listen to me and don't want to be in the mockers group amen glory to God you want to surrender your life and even if you were living 
amen, a mockery life, amen, glory to God. You can turn around this morning and let Jesus Christ come into your life and your life will be changed for the better. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. He said, No good things will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. So you have a ton load of good things in store for you. Amen. When you accept the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, He's opened up His blessing plan to you. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm saying to you, my brother, this morning, if you are listening, amen, take what I'm saying seriously because God loves you and he don't want you to die and go to a crisis eternity. Amen. Or if you come before he wants you to be ready to enjoy his great kingdom. Hallelujah. Of life and love and peace and joy and happiness forever. So if you're ready who would not be ready? If you are ready this morning to turn to for God to turn your life around for the better, pray this prayer after me. Amen. Pray this prayer after me. I stand in proxy for someone. Amen. And just pray. Hallelujah to God because prayer changes things. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Pray after me. Loving Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus. I admit I'm a sinner. I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place pay the penalty for my sins I am willing right now to turn from my sin and accept Jesus Christ as my personal savior and lord I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life to fill me and take control and to help me to become the kind of person you want me to be. Thank you, Father, for loving me. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for saving me. Thank you, Lord. I am born again. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. If you pray that prayer, amen, you are now a child of God. Amen. You are now born again. You are now saved. And if the Lord should come right now, you'll be going home with him. Amen. If you die, glory to God, you'll be going to a place of peace and rest and joy and happiness forever. Amen. So God bless you. Take my number. And if you pray that prayer, call me. And three four seven four nine five zero nine two seven. Amen. Or you can, if you live in Brooklyn, glory to God. Amen. Our church, Amen, welcomes you. Welcome you every time. Ten ten Rutland Road, Lifeline Gospel Ministry. Ten ten Rutland Road. Entrance on East 94th Street. Our service tomorrow begins at 12 noon. Amen. So uh, you could call me 347 495 Amen. F. Glory to God. Okay. So right now, I'm going to open up the prayer line in the studio here so if you want to call for prayer for healing for unity in your family for immigration problem oh, that's a big problem in our country for healing 
for deliverance, work problem, home problem, whatever it may be. God is and is ready to solve your problem and to meet your needs. The number to call is 347-663-8638. And I will pray with you and for you. God answers prayer. Amen. 347-663-8638. What do you think about Jesus? He's all right. What do you think about Jesus? God bless you. You're on the air. Go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Turn down your radio. Hello? Yeah, actually, yeah, that's what it is. Hi, good morning. I'm calling for prayer. Pray for deliverance. Um, I was, uh, was just, I don't know. I was just lying down. I don't know. Something happened. And I'm praying for prayer. I just felt something came over me. And I'm just praying for prayer. Just asking for prayer. Deliverance, whatever it is. Amen. 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 Are you are you a Christian? I am born again. Praise God. Okay, all right. Amen. So don't believe with me. Father God, in the name of Jesus yes. Christ, that not to look to you right now on behalf of this caller. In the name of Jesus. Touch. Hallelujah. Crown of their head to the sole of their feet right now, oh God. Whatever they, whatever deliverance they need, spiritually, physically, financially, whatever it may be, unit in the family, oh God, hallelujah. Touch! Hallelujah. Hallelujah to God and grant deliverance to this caller, God. In Jesus' name I pray, you got it. Amen? God bless you. Amen. God. Thank you very much. God bless you. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. Hallelujah. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. Amen. Hallelujah to God. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. And remember, if you are living in Brooklyn and you don't I'm inviting you to come along at Lifeline Gospel Ministry, 1010 Rutland Road, entrance and East 94th Street. Tomorrow, service start at 12 noon, and tomorrow we're having, we're supposed to be having a great time, as all the time, glory to God. God is good, amen, so come along. Amen. Amen. You'll be getting a surprise. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So, 1010 Rutland Road, Lifeline Gospel Ministry. That's the place to be tomorrow at 12 noon. Vincent and Sonia Morgan. Lifeline Gospel Ministries, where we lift up Jesus and help people through crisis care intervention, food distribution, and many other services to our community. At Lifeline, even though we are mainly of Jamaican extraction and origin, we reach out to all peoples. So come, fellowship with us, come grow with us, and experience the love of Jesus. Lifeline Gospel Ministries, 1010 Rutland Road, Brooklyn, New York. Entrance on East 94th Street. We are here for you. Pastor Vincent Morgan and congregation welcome you. Call us at 347-495-0927. That's 347-495-0927. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Yes. So we are looking for you. Amen. 
if you need a church to go to where you can grow, amen, where you will be blessed, amen, glory to God, hallelujah. Lifeline Gospel Ministry is the place for you. 1010 Rutland Road, entrance, on East 94th Street, amen. I've lots of bus run across there and a train, three train to Rutland Station and uh, 12 bus, 47 bus and all kind of different transportation come that way. So if you have any problem, just call me at 347 495-0927. Lifeline Gospel Ministry, 1010 Rutland Road is a place for you to be. Amen. Tomorrow, if you don't have another place of worship, glory to God, just come along. Amen. Just worship God together. Let, lift him up. He said, if I be lifted up, I will draw all men unto him. Glory to God. We don't want to be the mockers group. Amen. We want to be in the group that lift up Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You may be out there. And you know Michael Reed. And you see me getting excited for Jesus. It's because I was purchased by the blood of the Lamb. But now I come to tell you that I am redeemed. Listen to this. I am redeemed. What we Yes, 347-663-8638 is a number for you to call right here, right on the studio, that God can move on your behalf. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God can deliver you. God can solve the problem that can meet your need. Amen. In the, in the, in, uh, even if you know someone that is down. Amen. Glory to God. Whether spiritually or otherwise. Amen. They may be in the hospital. Glory to God right now. Amen. You could call and let us pray for them also. Amen. Not only for yourself, but for those around you who you know that need prayer. Because all of us need prayer one way or the other. So call 347-663-8638. Where there was eight Love now abides Where there's confusion <coughs> Peace now reigns I am walking with Jesus I'm a child of and it's all good morning you're on the air go ahead yes good morning i'm calling for a prayer for a friend of mine who cannot walk okay oh, yeah man. i pray that she can walk i yeah. know except god she yeah. says she accept god but she haven't um been baptized okay all right good i'm praying for her all right good. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, up now that I look to you right now on behalf of this scholar's request for this person who's not walk. Touch! Hallelujah. Glory to God. That person from the crown of the head to the sole of their feet and strengthen those feet 
dear God, in the name of Jesus. Whatever the pain, whatever the suffering may be, dear God, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke the plan of the enemy. I rebuke that disease right now. And I claim healing in the name of Jesus. Be strong, be healed, and get up and walk in the name of Jesus. I pray amen and amen. God bless you. You got it. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. God Thank bless you, Lord. You. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise amen. God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because I am redeemed. Can I get a worshiper with me to say, I'll tell off his favor. And I'll tell of His love I will tell of His goodness to me He purchased my redemption With His own precious blood And from sin Can I hear a worshiper say, I am redeemed. Thank you, Jesus. I'm bought with. Amen. Amen. 347-663-8638 is the number for you to call right now. Amen. Time is moving. So move with us. Move with time. Amen. Call right now if you desire to pray for someone or for yourself. Amen. God is ready. Amen. Amen. Even before you ready, God is ready. Hallelujah. To solve the problem, to meet your needs. Amen. Whatever it may be, glory to God. God is. And he's a rewarder to them that diligently seek him. So call right now. 347 663 Eight six three eight. Amen. Three four seven six six three eight six three eight. And tomorrow we meet at ten ten Rutland Road Lifeline Gospel Ministry entrance and East ninety fourth Street. And we meet there at twelve noon tomorrow. Amen. For our divine worship power in the house. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. 347-663-8638. Hallelujah. Thanks. Jesus has changed my whole Amen, amen. And remember, you could call me off the air 347 495 0927. That's the number off the air. When I come off the air at 9, amen, you could call me a little after when I get out of the studio. Amen. 347 495 0927. Amen. Or if you're going to meet me, you could meet me at the church tomorrow at 1010 Rutland Road. If you're living in Brooklyn or wherever you can get transportation, you have to have people coming from all over to our church, even farmers in Manhattan. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And coming to Brooklyn to our church. So if you can get to a train or a bus, or uh, whatever you want to travel by, amen. You are welcome at Lifeline Gospel Ministry at 1010 Rutland Road, entrance and East 94th Street. And my number is 347 495 0927. Okay, I'm going to pray right now for 
all those who were trying to get me and could not get me, amen, or if you never uh, try to call but you want to believe God this morning, you have a problem, you have a need, I'm going to pray a general prayer right now, amen. Hallelujah to God. So just, just hang on by faith, just hold on, just believe God. He that cometh to God must believe that he is and he's a reward. All right, let me take this call. Amen. All right. Good morning. You're on the air. Good morning, Pastor. Good morning. How are you doing? I'm doing good, thank God. Yes, please, I'm asking you to pray for me, Pastor. I'm having a problem okay. with my fiancé. I'm supposed to get married, and he has a daughter there. She's been like a rogue in my back. Okay, okay. And yes, and I'm asking to pray for my children and grandchildren. Too. Okay. Please. All right. Um, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I Nazareth, look to you right now on behalf of this caller right now, God, who is having a problem, family problem. In the name of Jesus Christ, up now, I pray, God, that you'll touch right now, God. Deliver, oh God. Oh God, set free this moment, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, cancel, oh God, the disappointed one. Cancel the enemy, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ, God, I look to you on behalf of this caller, my God, that you'll turn things around for this caller in the name of Jesus. Remember her children and grandchildren. God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray for them. They're not saved, that they will come to know you, whom to know is life everlasting. Take over now, God. Have your own way as I believe you for deliverance for this family in Jesus' name. God bless you. You got it. Thank you very much, Pastor. God bless you. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Okay, I'm going to pray right now. Amen. For a, gen for a general prayer. So wherever you may be, just hang on to your radio. Uh, hold on to your Bible, uh, touch your heart, uh, you know, just touch a point of contact, amen. As I, I, I just, just plainly believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I look to you right now, God, in the name of Jesus. For everyone that is listening right now, God, some may try to get me in the air, but they couldn't. But God, right now, you know they need, dear God. You know the problem oh god the family problem the work problem even church problem god in the name of jesus god i pray right now god you remember them right so i'm sick in the body of god lord god all different a million and one different type of sickness oh god attacking mankind god but in the name of jesus christ those who are listening right now i'm believing you for deliverance for healing dear god i pray in the name of jesus that you'll Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah to God. I pray you touch somebody, heal somebody, deliver somebody, set somebody free this morning. Glory to God. And for those who need your salvation, dear Lord God, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, God, that you'll forgive them, oh God, of their sins, dear God, and 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 and, and save them for time and eternity in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, oh God. Whatever the, the disease or the problem may be, oh God, a headache, backache, cancer, diabetes, whatever it may be, God, liver problem, heart problem, back problem, foot problem, oh God, stomach problem, all kind of problem, all kind of sickness, all kind of disease. I rebuke the plan of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And I claim healing for those who are listening and believing right now that God can do it and he is doing it right now. Hallelujah. In Jesus name I pray amen and amen. Hallelujah. If you, you, you're listening and you believe God, just hallelujah. Just continue to believe him. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And continue to, by faith, know that God is on your side and he's doing the impossible. God bless you. 
in Jesus name amen and amen glory to God I'll be off the air in a little while so see you same place same time amen at uh, 92.9 FM on your dial every Saturday morning glory to God and tomorrow amen 12 noon amen this place for you to be amen lifeline gospel ministry 1010 Rutland Road entrance and east 94th street god bless you love you hallelujah praise god praise god Praise God. Praise God. God bless you. See you same place, same time next week. Amen. Amen. Praise God.
its face. Angels sing. I see glory. I 